Ugh. Okay, I got another product review. Um, I've been sent this. This is a Bluetti uh, one EB150. Now I know you're wondering what the hell is a Bluetti, but it's just a massive battery bank um, that you can use to charge um, anything really. So let's open it and then I'll do an unboxing now and then I'll do a review later. Yeah, they boxed it pretty well. So a portable power station. So it's 100, 1,500 kilowatts, which is huge. So it's basically just a giant battery bank. The biggest one you could ever use. Jeez, it's heavy. I think it says on the box it's 16 kilograms. Feels good, it's got like a metal case, which is good. So yeah, I've been sent this product to review. Um, so I mean, I'm not really the most technical um, electronic reviewer on YouTube. So I'll link to a few other videos that do really good analysis on the Blue Yeti uh, 150. So basically it's a power bank, it's got an inverter to give you 240 volts, and it's also got um, a 12 volt outlet, and then it's also got a solar input. So it's got the solar controller in it. So usually when you set up a system like this, you need the solar panels, and then your solar and battery controller, and then you have your batteries to charge your batteries. But this, it's got everything in it. So it's got the, you just plug the solar into here, the input, so that's 60 volts at 10 amps. So you can work that out with your solar panels. Up to 500 watts of solar, you can plug the, plug into this. Got everything in it. So basically you could use this for, you know, put it in your van, put it in, uh, just take it with on camping trips, um, and you can charge all your gear and use it as a, a power outlet, you know, wherever you are. So that's really cool. Anyway, I'll switch it on and see if it works. It's got about 80% battery, so I don't, I'm not gonna charge it yet. I'll do a quick test. I'll plug my computer into it and see if my computer switches on. There's the power. There's the power. Let's switch my computer off. So while my computer shuts down, let's just go through the cables. So you've got, this is a set of um, solar cables. So I'm not sure what those are called, but that plugs into your solar panel and that plugs directly into the Blue Eti. And then you've got your massive um, charger. So the two ways to charging it, one with the solar panel, and then one with just a normal um, 240 volt AC outlet. And that's how you charge the big battery. I'm told it takes, I think, four and a half hours to charge it by the wall. And then also about the same, or maybe a little bit longer with solar. Um, okay, let's plug my computer in and see if it works. So what I'm gonna do is after this, um, I'll shoot the unboxing video, and then I'm gonna take it camping and I'll take it um, out in the field and see how it works. This doesn't fry my Mac. There you go, see it. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, let's do this. Switch it on. AC is on. Hmm. There they go. Okay, now it's on. Hey! Wow, that's awesome. Okay, yeah, cool. So it also shows you um, on the display. It shows you on the display how much watts it's pulling out. So it's pulling out 105 watts. So it says here it's rated to 1,000 watts. So from watching some other YouTube videos, guys have said it can take um, about 900 watts. It can take 1,000, but then it'll, it'll cut out after about, I don't know, two minutes. But at 900 watts, you should be good to run for as long as you can. So yeah, it's pulling 90, 95 watts, an iMac, I've got a 27 inch iMac. So you could technically take the iMac and this power bank and take it camping and you could work with the iMac. Now that would last quite a while, I'd imagine. It's only putting in 100 watts. The fan hasn't kicked on, so you can, it's got another 240 volt outlet. And another good thing about um, this uh, battery, it's, it's, I think it's, Lithium ion cells and they're LG cells, so they're really good quality. All right, cool. Well, I guess the next test is to take it out um, camping and we can charge drone batteries, laptops, anything, even power a hairdryer if you need it. So, all right, well, that's pretty good. Um, the equivalent product is maybe Goal Zero. They make equivalent products, um, but um, from the reviews that I've seen online, they've said this is a really good inverter and solar controller that's inbuilt, so. 
it's a good piece of kit that you can take camping. And yeah, they've also offered me for anyone who wants to buy one of these, um, $100 off. Just use uh, my code, which is in the description of this video, and you can get $100 off this um, the EB150. So thanks Blue Eddy. I'll be testing this out and um, we'll see how it goes camping. All right. Three hours later. Okay, so that was the unboxing. Now I'm just out in my front yard and I'm gonna be um, seeing what I can plug into it, what I can charge. So, so I've got um, my GoPro camera. I've got um, two outlets into the 240 volts. So I've got this charger that's going to my electric bike. And then I've got a drone battery in there. Obviously the GoPro Hero. Was it a Hero 8? And then I've also got my um, pump, the, um, the Outdoor Master pump into, into my SUP. So I'm gonna see if it pumps that up. But it's currently on and it's all charging. So, so yeah, this can easily go into the back of your car um, and uh, you can charge all your gear from there. It even shows you what it's pulling on the front screen as in the usage of the uh, watts. Okay, so I'll just go through this. So here you can see I'll just turn the light on, there you go, if you can see that. There's currently zero input, so I don't have the solar plugged in. It's pulling five watts for the uh, GoPro. There, that's just plugged on the USB. Now you can plug, obviously, four USBs in, and it's even got a USB-C outlet there. So you can really max that out. And then, from the 240 volts, it's pulling 275 watts currently, and that's around here. So here I've got, there's the 240 volt outlets and I've got my um, drone controller and the battery charging there. Yeah, and then over here, so then the other 240 volts goes to my um, Cube e-bike, which goes into there. And then here you can see it's currently, there you go, see? Currently charging, so in that, there's a 400 watt hour battery in that. And then obviously the Blue Eddy 150 is 150, 1,500 watt hours. And so this is my, obviously my sub pump. Now this take is going to the 12 volt outlet, which is here. So that's the only 12 volt outlet I have. And so I'm just gonna try switch it on. I tested it before and I think it doesn't work. So it's currently on. See there, it cuts out. So, um, yeah, so it just cuts out. I'm gonna reset it. So I'll switch the DC off. Plug it. DC back on. Plug it in. I'll leave the camera here so I can see if it pulls the max wattage. Okay, it's currently on. So I can't see that. Let's have a look. The rating. So here you go, you can see the input. It needs 12 volts, um, 110 watts. So I was looking at the Blue Eddy. The Blue Eddy can handle 11 volts at nine amps. No, sorry, 12.2 volts at nine amps, which works out to be 109 watts. So it's just not rated for um, this pump, which is kind of disappointing. Because I'd imagine I'd use this pump to pump that up um, when I'm out and about. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and thanks to Bluetti for sending me this power station to test out. I actually really like it. It's, it gives me good peace of mind when I'm out and about and need to charge my camera gear, especially drone batteries. Um, I'm gonna take this out on the road and possibly camping in another video, so stay tuned for that. Um, Blue Eddy are new to Australia, so please take up the introductory offer below. Um, it's in the description, you'll get 100 bucks off. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll have another video um, with some surf in it um, soon. See ya.